Welcome to Piemonte, home of world famous wines, truffles the size of your fist, stunning landscapes, and now us. During the pandemic, we decided to sell our apartment in Stockholm and move to Italy in search of our dream house. Just a short drive from the Ligurian coast and the buzzing city life of Milan, Langer in Piemonte was the perfect place for us to start our Italian adventure. In December 2021, we got the keys to our abandoned farmhouse and now in early 2022 have begun renovating. Follow our journey and progress as we restore this 100-year-old rustico into our dream home. Again? Yeah. Hi, and welcome to our Italian dream house. Good morning. It is the 10th of October today. It's absolutely pissing down outside and our workers haven't shown up for two weeks now. They took a little break unannounced. Um, here it seems to be standard that you just don't show up to work. Um, it's quite, I don't know, I just don't get it. Like if, imagine if I wouldn't show up for work for two weeks if I have a client, but here they seem to think that this is uh, acceptable behavior. Uh, we had been promised that the whole house with the stable was going to be done the 15th of October or work like the head of our head Murator promised us that a few weeks ago and then they just didn't show up. So now they have four days to finish everything, including like cementing a whole new foundation, tearing down an old building, like everything. Uh, and I'm just very um, curious to see how they're going to solve that. Um, on top of that, we haven't received our windows. Um, there is some kind of problem with the actual glass, so it's not our window maker's fault, but it's the person who's delivering the glass. Um, usually they say that it's a waiting time of like four to five working days, and we ordered the glass 30th of August and it still hasn't arrived. But we're keeping our fingers crossed it's gonna arrive maybe this week. Welcome to the first real autumn day. We can't see anything because there's so much fog. Um, but luckily, after my little rant yesterday that nothing is happening, I received a message first from a builder saying that they will be back today, and then from our window maker saying that they will arrive today and put our windows in. This is insanely exciting. Um, yeah, so tonight will be the first night that we sleep without hearing the neighbor's dog, which is barking quite a lot. Since days. when? Oh, since March. Yeah. So we've lived in the house six months without windows. Yeah. That was not really the plan. It just happened to be like that. Yeah. Because our first builder didn't put the masks in properly, then they had to be put back in again by the new builders. Then the measurements had to be taken, then they could make the windows. And then we've been waiting for the glass since the end of August. August. And now we finally arrived. Perfect. Happy days. Yeah, and Ernie says he's looking forward to a good. Oh, he's gone. He's busy. Good night's sleep. Seeing the windows arrive in the morning was really amazing. We had been waiting so long for them and we had spent quite a lot of our renovation budget so we were excited to see how they turned out. The decision to get custom handmade wooden windows was absolutely the right choice and the custom green paint was well worth the little bit of extra cost.
Unfortunately, we made a little bit of a mistake with the pipes in the kitchen. These were the water pipes and waste pipe for the sink and dishwasher. We put them in the wrong place. So we made a bit of a judgment error with our cabinet sizes and position and the plumber installed them where we told him, but yeah, in the wrong place. So here I am chiseling out a new channel to move the pipes to the correct location. And at the same time, we have Edward Stad Bill giving us a hand with the painting. How's it going? It's coming along. It's coming along well. So right now we are adding the fissativo, which is supposed to give a bit more structure to the wall uh, and also help the paint fix better. With my dad visiting, we thought it was only fair to get him involved in all aspects of work. Primarily, he was here to paint, but we got him involved in a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of organizing the kitchen, and also a little bit of tiling. Much to his dismay, he was very worried that he was gonna mess that up, but he did great. We've come into Alba to show my dad the local biggest town and it's currently market day and truffle festival so there's loads going on, there's loads of people around and it's pretty interesting and lots to see, lots to do. What do you think Bill? I'm enjoying it. You're enjoying it? Good. Got the traditional Alba setup. Back at the house, the window makers were installing the last of the windows. They managed to install all the windows in one day and they were just two people. So they worked really hard and I have to say that the windows are fantastic. Each window is like a piece of art. They are beautifully built and crafted and they are going to be an absolute focal point of the house. Well worth the wait.
Thank you so much for watching. We do hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you made it this far, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell and we will see you in the next video.